Welcome back, family, with another video. And man, 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 when a dude's just going to learn to leave these thotties alone, fam, it's almost like in 2022, we did so much of a good job of kicking feminism's ass. And we thought that maybe they was taking a back seat. But all of a sudden, you're starting to see these accusations start flying in. And it's been what? Andrew Tate. Now we got Shy Grizzly. We know what happened with Tank, Javante Davis, in his situation. It's so many stories this week that's coming out about flying accusations about men doing this and men doing that. And I'm saying to myself, fellas, we got to make smarter moves. And one thing I want to convey in this video before we get going is do not mix business with pleasure. Without further ado, let's get into it. Jai hits me up super, super last minute, and he's like, I'm doing the music video for White Girl. The song just went platinum. I need you for the music video. Like, and I was just like, uh. He was like, how about 3K? And he was just really not trying to do that 5K, but I was in my head. I was like, okay, the song's huge. I finally agreed to, yeah, I'll do it for 3K. Just the whole day, like, trying to flirt with me or like pull me to the sides to talk to me i'm really just not into him he's like five four to start off how he like cornered me in the kitchen and convinced me to do this pill and i don't know what the pill was i said okay so i took it and he pulls me onto the bed his dick is out and he's like suck it and i said no and then he said lick it and i said no they put me in a car and fam i don't even know what to say now, I think I'm going to have to blur out certain parts of this video because you know how YouTube is, fam. Anytime we start growing, they just got to shut this channel down. And that's the reason why I'm so proud of the 2,000 subscribers that we actually got because they're not slowing us down, but they don't send out the notifications. And that's what lets me know that I must be doing something right. The one thing I need to start out this video with is simply this. This woman is some OnlyFans thotty. And now you didn't create this platform for her to run her mouth saying that you did this and you did that. We have got to make smarter moves. I'm going to rewind the video back, break it down. Jai hits me up super, super last minute. And he's like, I'm doing the music video for White Girl. The song just went platinum. I need you for the music video. Like, and I was just like, uh, he was like, how about 3K? And he was just really not trying to do that 5K, but I was in my head. I was like, okay, the song's huge. First talking point, you got a decision that you got to make. One, do you want this girl to be in your video? Secondly, why this girl? You got so many damn women out here that you can put in your white girl video that happen to be hot white chicks. Why put her in the video? Is she the only one that you want to be able to choose for the video? And if you are going to pick this girl, you need to pay her the five grand, fam. Pay her her money so she could shut the fuck up. But you wanted to take a cheaper route and pay her $3,000. So now you got the woman getting money, but yet she's not all the way happy. If you are going to do this and you are going to select this girl, you need to understand to pay her her money, but don't mix business with pleasure. If you are trying to sleep with this woman, let her know that you're trying to sleep with her, but you want to sit up there and play this game with her and be like, oh, I'm going to give you three grand. I'm going to give you a bunch of exposure and I want to get up in that juicy Shit don't make any sense, fam. You could have pulled the girl off the street who maybe is not as attractive as this girl, but you, let's say hypothetically that this girl's a nine. Maybe you could have went out there and found an eight, gave her a better position. And she might have been more cooperative with you. But be careful, fellas. I finally agreed to, yeah, I'll do it for 3K. Just the whole day, like, trying to flirt with me or, like, pull me to the sides to talk to me. I'm really just not into him. He's, like, 5'4", <laughs> to start off. How he, like, cornered me in the kitchen and convinced me to do this pill. And I don't know what the pill was. I said no a million times. Eventually, I was just like, okay. So I took it. And he pulls me onto the bed. His dick is out. And he's like, suck it. And I said no. And then he said, lick it. And I said no. They put me. So Shorty now was saying that he spent the whole day trying to convince her to do a little bit of strange things for a little bit of change, right? But it wasn't going the way that he wanted it to go, according to her. 
She accepted the money, but she's not trying to get down with him. He's 5'4", or whatever. She's trying to clown him on his height and stuff like that. So it was like, yo, fam, why did you even pick this girl? But you put yourself in a bad situation. Now she's up here talking about she then took some pill that he basically coerced her to take. And you got to be careful with these words and stuff. But I don't go around really believing any of these women. But the point I'm trying to make is, fellas, you just got to make smarter decisions out here. Because as you are seeing that this year is already off to this type of start, Trey songs, all these other people are being accused. And my goal is really to help dudes understand that some of this shit ain't even worth putting yourself in harm's way over because we don't know what type of backlash he's about to face due to these allegations from some OnlyFans thotty. So find you a girl that's cooperating with you and maybe you just want to pay her three grand. But if you want to sleep with a woman, do not mix business and pleasure. Let me know your thoughts on the situation. Until next time, fellas, I'm out. Choose wisely.